Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. Um, welcome to the last days. The great falling away is happening, and um, for those who are in the Lord, are in the joy of the Lord, regardless of what's going on around us. You know, um, of course, we need to mourn and weep for the lost. But you know, the Lord is so good. Like, how could we not be joyful in Him at the same time? You know, man. So, I just want to share something real quick about praising the Lord, right? Praising the Lord is a spiritual weapon against the devil when he tries to get you to fall back, to go back into sin, brother, sister, when he tries to lead you away from Christ, right? When you try to read or get into your word and you, think you can't seem to focus, it just, when you feel that temptation starting to overpower you, before giving in, praise the Lord. Do not give in. Right? Fight back. This is a weapon the Lord gives us. Let me show you through scripture, right? Go to 1 Samuel 16. Hallelujah. The last verse. It's verse 23. Check it out. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul that David took a harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. Right? Praising the Lord, music can cast out unclean spirits. Right? I, I was struggling the other day and I reached out to a brother. Brother, thank you. You know who you are. I love you, bro. And, um,. I asked for prayer, you know, I was like, help, you know, pray for me, I'm being tempted right now, you know, and I was trying to read and I tried to pray, I was battling this for a couple hours, and he simply reminded me of that scripture, right, and let me know that, you know, temptation is a spirit, and they hate it when we praise the Lord, right, and he encouraged me to sing um, a song that I had recently put together, that's a lot of the scriptures put together, right? About trusting the Lord. Lord willing, I might put it up uh, the Lord leads. So, and, um, so he encouraged me to do that and give God the glory. And as soon as I started singing, it's like, right away, you know, that, that temptation left instantly. You know, it was, it was supernatural. We have supernatural weapons against the enemy, right? We cannot fight you know, spiritual things with carnal weapons, right? We fight not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. It says in Ephesians 6, 12, 2 Corinthians 10, 4 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So if there are strongholds coming after you, break them down with the power of God, right? Praise the Lord. Sing to Him. This is a weapon Jesus praised, right? There's another scripture in Acts 16, right? When Paul and Silas were in jail, they praised the Lord. And they were in bondage, right? They had kind of like a... They didn't physically have strongholds, but... Well, they had physical strongholds, is what I'm saying. Right? They were chained up. They were, they were imprisoned. And they praised the Lord, right? And the Lord just delivered them. All the chains were fast. Not only them, but everyone else in the prison that heard them, too. That's the power of praise, right? Can set not only you free, but people around you free too, right? Let's stop, you know, worrying about what people think. Let's just praise the Lord, give Him glory, thank Him. The Lord loves it when you sing to Him. No, even if you don't have a good voice, it doesn't matter. He sees what's in your heart. If you sincerely love Him and just praise Him and thank Him, the Bible says sing a new song to the Lord, right? Just start saying hallelujah, hallelujah, if you don't know what to say and just... Open up your Bible, read it, just sing a scripture to the Lord, you know? Sing some of your favorite scriptures, you know, or um, just sing to the Lord how He's delivered you. Personally, I like to sing, you know, often when um, I don't know what to sing, I'll just sing about, you know, who He is. I'll, I'll sing a lot of His titles, right? You are the great I Am, you are the, the Almighty Creator of heaven and earth and all that is within it. You are... 
my strong tower. You are my deliverer, right? Sing about these things, who he is to you, how he saved you. You are my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? Um, I'm just trying to throw out ideas there because if you're not sure what to praise or how to praise, you know, just start with hallelujahs and just hallelujah, make a melody, you know what I mean? And just go with it, you know, and the Lord will give you songs, you know what I mean? He's good, he's He's helped me, he's given me songs, and he can give you songs, you know. And uh, don't be discouraged, just praise the Lord. And um, if you still don't know what to praise, let's let's praise the Lord right now. Here's a little simple one that, uh, that we sing in the ministry, the revelations of Jesus Christ. It goes like this. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Shout to the Lord, a joyful sound to the Lord, to the Lord, the Bible says, right? Shout to him, don't let the enemy take your joy. It fills you with joy, for real, it's supernatural. When you really sincerely just praise him and thank him, and just think about how good he is, it really is supernatural. Like, God is so good. So I just want to share this uh, mighty weapon with you guys to fight the devil. When he tries to fight you, don't let him take you away from Christ. Don't let anyone take your crown. Amen. In Jesus' name, love you guys. Stay strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. <laughs> 